Hello everyone, this is Chase Crispin, and today I'm here to show you an unboxing of the new Orion TI-84 Plus calculator from the American Printing House for the Blind. And this calculator was created as a partnership between APH, Orbit Research, and Texas Instruments. Today we will be taking the calculator and all of its accessories out of the box, putting in the batteries, and in our next tutorial, we will be looking at powering on the calculator for the first time and learning some of its basic functions. I have the box for the Orion TI-84 Plus Talking Graphing Calculator sitting here in front of me, and this is what your box will look like when you first receive your calculator. The first thing you'll find on the top of the box once you open it is some braille information about the calculator. This has the APH contact info on it, and this is some basic getting started info about the calculator, and this is some braille and print that you can explore on your own time. That gives you some getting started info, but that is what's on top. It, the next thing you find is some insulated wrap that just protects the calculator and its accessories, so we're just going to remove this from the box. There is a very small plug-in without a cable attached. This is just a square plug with the outlet prongs on the end. You will plug the AC adapter cord from the calculator into this charger and then plug the charger into the wall. And we will look at assembling the charger in just a moment. Below this, we find a cable that is not wrapped up. And this is the cable that connects the Orion calculator to the AC adapter. The small end plugs into the calculator. The large end plugs into the AC adapter or to your computer. This can also be plugged into your computer so that you can emboss or print graphs calculated on the device or update the device's firmware if an update becomes available. In bubble wrap, there is a long plastic piece that fits over the top of the calculator. This is the hard sliding cover that covers all of the calculator's buttons as well as its screen so that you can carry it without any buttons inadvertently being pressed. So this is the hard plastic cover that covers up the calculator. And also within that bubble wrap covering the slide cover are some earbuds that you may use with the calculator if you wish, or you may plug in standard external speakers or any other headphones, or just use the calculator's built-in speakers. The calculator at it itself is wrapped up at the bottom of the box. It is wrapped in quite a bit of bubble wrap to keep it safe, but if you unwrap it and set the excess bubble wrap aside, you will find the calculator. There are a few layers of bubble wrap here, so you must remove it and then remove the tape from around the calculator itself. The top of the calculator is taped shut. The bubble wrap is taped shut, that is, so you must untape it. And then you may remove the Orion calculator from the bubble wrap. The Orion calculator is made up of the standard TI-84 Plus calculator on the bottom. This does not have any tactile markings beyond whatever is included from Texas Instruments on the standard calculator. And above the screen of the calculator, it includes the actual Orion unit made by APH and Orbit Research. That is what actually speaks all of the calculations and menus on the device. So these parts are attached together, but the bottom part is the calculator itself. The top part is the unit that provides the accessible speech output and allows you to change things like the speaking rate and the speaking voice's pitch. The next thing you will find in the box is a flash drive wrapped in plastic. On this flash drive, you can find the documentation for the Orion TI-84 Plus, and you will also find the standard TI-84 Plus user's guide from Texas Instruments. So you can simply plug this flash drive into your computer or your note taker and read both the documentation for the accessible parts of the device and changing your settings for the speech, etc. 
and read the full user's guide for how to do many types of calculations on the calculator itself. Finally, you will find the four batteries that power the Orion TI-84 Plus calculator. The calculator itself, the standard TI-84 Plus, runs on four AAA batteries. The Orion portion, the custom-made portion that makes the calculator accessible, is powered by a rechargeable battery. So you must insert the batteries that are included in the box or your own AAA batteries into the calculator and then charge the Orion portion via the cable and AC adapter that we located in the box previously. And we will look at these processes in just a moment. This is all of the items that are included in the box with the calculator. So now we can insert the batteries and plug the calculator in to charge. I have the calculator itself sitting in front of me and we first need to insert the four AAA batteries into the calculator. So I'm going to flip the calculator over so that the buttons are face down on the table. And now I'm going to feel for the battery door. If you feel down from the top of the device down, you'll feel a small lip that sticks up. And if you put your finger underneath of that lip and you lift up, the battery door will come off. You can just remove this and set it to the side. And now the battery compartment of the calculator is exposed. So I'm going to open the package of my four AAA batteries here. I'm going to insert them so that the spring that you can feel within the battery compartment towards you, assuming that the battery compartment is closest to you, the smooth end of the battery should be up against the spring. So I'm going to just begin to insert the batteries in the proper orientation here. And there are four of them. I have now inserted all four batteries, so I'm going to find the battery cover, and I'm going to put the end with a pronounced part that kind of sticks out of the battery cover away from me, and put that into the place where we lifted the battery cover out from earlier. You can feel a dip in the calculator where the end of the battery cover fits. So first I'm going to put the end of the battery door closest to me in, and then the part I was just discussing with the part uh, where you pull the door out is further away. Once the part closest to me is fitted, we can simply press down. You hear a click and the battery cover has been put in place. I'll now flip the calculator over and we will now look at connecting the charging cord so that we can charge the Orion portion of the unit so that we can get accessible output from the device. The USB cord does come wrapped up in a twisted tie, so we must just untie these real quick before we can lengthen the cable. So I'm just twisting these ties like you normally would untie any of these. There are two of them, one on each side of the cable. The cord plugs into the rightmost USB port. There are a few ports on top. There are a he There's a headphone port, and two different types of USB ports. For right now, we're only concerned with the charging port, which is the rightmost one, assuming that the calculator is held upright with the buttons facing you. So I'm going to plug the small end of the USB cable into the rightmost USB port. And if it doesn't fit one way, just turn it around and see if it fits the other way. I have plugged this in. I'm now going to find the small USB plug that plugs from the USB port into the wall. I'm going to tear this package open, pull the charger out, find the long end of the USB cable, and plug the long, larger end of the USB cable into the port opposite of the wall prongs on the AC charger. So I'm going to plug this in. and this has been plugged in. You can then plug this charger just into a standard wall outlet, and the Orion portion of the calculator would begin to charge. And finally, when you're ready to take the calculator somewhere, you would want to find the hard plastic sliding cover and simply put the 
cover on the bottom of the calculator, the part closest to you, and just slide the cover all the way up, and the entire calculator is now covered. To remove the cover, you can just press down and slide the cover towards you. Once it's slid quite a ways, you'll want to lift up and set it to the side. Thank you for watching this unboxing of the Orion TI-84 Plus Talking Graphing Calculator. We hope this has been helpful to you, and in our next video, we will be looking at getting started with your use of the Orion TI-84 Plus.